Manhole, it's your host DJ Kevin K. In this particular video, we're gonna be discussing women and accountability. Women and accountability. Now, guys, I know a lot of y'all out there have been through some situations where a woman has done some evil stuff to you, and basically she apologized, but it don't seem like she took accountability. And what I mean by accountability, I mean accepting the repercussions or the punishment that comes after you did what you did in the first place. For example, if somebody come up to you and punch you upside the head, and then you turn around and punch the person back in their mouth, and the, and the person that you punch say, man, why the hell you hit me? Why you think I hit you? Because you hit me first. Or the person say, man, that wasn't right that you hit me back. Hell yeah, it was right. You see, the person that's asking the question or telling you that it's not right that you punched them back after they hit you for no obvious reason, it's not taking accountability. They're not accepting that, yeah, I committed this action, now I gotta, I gotta face the consequences of what comes after the actions that I uh, 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 did in the first place. That's what accountability is. For instance, if a woman cheats on you and then you up and leave and say, man, I ain't coming back. She said, man, you ran off and left me. That's not taking accountability. If she said, man, I want out of this relationship. I, I want to move on. And she want to try to take the house, the key, everything from you. That's not accountability. She sees apologize. Say, I didn't mean to cheat, but I'm going to take everything. for. That's not accountability. It's not saying that, you know what, man? I didn't want to be in this relationship. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to move on. And whatever I can do to help you transition out of it, then, you know, it's my fault. So I shouldn't. I, I think that uh, uh, whatever I need to do to help you move on, then I'll do my best. That's taking accountability. And if the guy gets mad and, and wants to take all this stuff and leave, and she say, okay, I accept that. That's accepting accountability. That's accepting accountability. But when you don't, that's not accepting accountability. And women never accept accountability because they don't want that weight on their chest. And guys, you always gotta remember that. They don't want that weight on their chest. They cannot accept being the blame or something. Us men, we accept it all the time, man. We do some shit and say, you know what, man? That's on me, man. I did that, man. Whatever consequences gotta come, it gotta come. Sometimes we'll try to lie, but at the end of the day, we just accept it. But a lot of women can't do that, especially when it comes to emotional stuff. They want, they do not want to accept it. Now they can sit around and tell each other to accept it. Oh yeah, girl, you wrong. You wrong. You, yeah, you should, you should just own up. You should be a woman. All that old shit. But when, it, but the same person giving advice, like I tell y'all all the time, they'll be the main one saying or trying to justify why they did something that they shouldn't have did in the first place. And once, it, 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 that's just how it go. And guys, what what our problem is, is that we expect it. We expect women to take the same accountability that we would take. And God, they're not going to do it, fellas. They will not do it. So you need to stop thinking about it and stop wondering if they would do it and, and hoping they will. And a lot of times, beating yourself up. Thinking that they're going to take some accountability or wondering why they won't take it because they're not going to take it. They're not going to take it. And to be honest with you, it, it, it drives it drives men crazy. It drives us crazy when women don't do that. And you got to find a way to just let it go. Because one thing about it, one thing about it, guys, let me tell you this. Pain has a way of getting the truth out of everybody. Pain. Because once you, once you, whatever you do, or what life is like a boomerang. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, it's going to come back to you. People call it karma, but it's got to come back. It's got to. And when, whenever she going through that pain, she gonna remember what she did. 
She gonna remember, she gonna start to hold her own self accountable. Life is gonna hold her accountable. Cause, cause, cause guess what? When you go down on your knees to pray, whoever she believe, whatever she believe in, guys, she gonna remember what she done because she gonna want her prayers to be answered. And she's gonna wonder, man, is God gonna answer my prayers? Is God gonna answer my prayers? Is he gonna hold me accountable for what I did? Is it, 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 uh, am I going through all this turmoil because of what I did? Maybe I need to go apologize. And at that point, guys, that's when she gonna apologize. That's when she gonna call you up or send you that text. Try to, try to ease her way back in so she can start a conversation only to apologize. Because guess what? That pain is on her ass. That pain is boiling, barreling down for something that she's going through in her own life that ain't got nothing to do. And even if she don't come back and apologize, she gonna, she gonna wish a thousand times that she had. She gonna wish a thousand times that she had because pain got a way of getting the truth out of everybody, man. Pain got a way of getting it out of your ass. Whether it's one of your family members or, or, or sick, whether you sick, whether you caught, caught an ailment, whether you have a, a loss, whatever that pain, pain come, can come in a million different ways. Life is an up and down world, guys. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many women you got. I don't care how many houses, how many cars. Life is an up and down world. Okay, yeah, you suffering on a different level than me, but you're still suffering. You still suffer, man. So you can't outrun it. But one way or another, life is will life will hold your ass accountable. You don't have to hold her accountable. Life will hold her accountable. And you gotta always remember that, guys. You gotta always remember that life. You you karma got everybody's address, man. No matter where you go, you you can you can you can change addresses a fifty times. As soon as you change that son, gun, life got it in the directory. Yeah, it'll come knocking on your door. But women will never hold themselves accountable. So stop expecting it, guys. Anyway, man, I want y'all, I want to let y'all know, man. Like I always say, keep your head up. I know a lot of y'all going through some stuff. I know a lot of y'all feeling like y'all inadequate, suffering. Don't suffer in silence, man. Don't suffer in silence. Find somebody to talk to. Talk it out. It make you feel better. And don't ever pray for the woman to come back, man. Don't ever pray for her to come back. Just pray that your feelings move on. Anyway, y'all, I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, man, y'all keep y'all head up. Keep pushing day by day by day. Keep making strides to better yourself. Work on bettering yourself. Work on moving to that next level. That's something out there for you, man. That's something out there for you. Anyway, fam. Until next time, peace.